Next week is the Met Gala in New York. Yes. Fancy. Fashion night of the year. Mm -hmm. Have you? Are you going? Have you ever gone? No, no. I, I have gone one time. My wife always gets invited, and she invited me like <laughs> four times in a row. I was like, no, fly to New York, dress up, the whole thing, uh, traffic, no thanks. And then. Uh, at one point, she said, I think you're going to want to come this year because at our table, Jay-Z's going to be there. And I am Bitch. the number one Jay-Z fan in America. And so I said, uh, yeah, I'll absolutely go. And at the table, it was an exciting table. It was not only Jay-Z and Beyonce, but also uh, Kanye was there, uh, Sasha Baron Cohen and Isla Fisher. It was, it was, you know, we did not belong there, is the point. Um, <laughs> but as luck would have it, I was seated right next to my hero, Jay-Z. And I said to Chris, and I hope he doesn't mind hearing his own lyrics repeated back to him. So <laughs> I gave Jay-Z what I would call the platinum package. <laughs> Everything was on the table. Jokes, sincerity, admiration, you name it. I gave him like 120%. <laughs> and I promise you, if we had bumped into each other in the bathroom mid-meal, he'd have no idea I was sitting at his table. Really? <laughs> Convinced. I beg nothing. to differ. Yeah, yeah. Just nothing. I think all I was was like a roadblock to look at Kristen. Really? That's my hush. Yeah. He, so have you never seen him since? You've never no, bumped into I, him. Nothing. I think that's intentional on his part. Uh, <laughs> but you know, we'll see. But if you did see him, would you go up and say, Jay, you remember from the? I'd flip it. I'd now treat him like the hottest girl in high school and ignore him. Drive oh. him. Crazy. Like, he'd be like, wasn't that guy all up in my business at the thing? Didn't he and now me? there's and nothing. Now, yes. He'll get in his mind. I think they call that something, that terrible book. They yeah, call it Negging. Be... Negging. 